Hello, this is Adrian Jr. of Sun City Outdoors, and today we're fishing at the Veterans Memorial Pond in Boulder City. I'm gonna be using some lures. Everybody's catching some trout right now, so if we do catch a couple, we're gonna take them home and eat them. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with this Castmaster right here. It's a good lure, I always throw a swivel on it. It's kind of a bulky swivel, but it's all I had, so. Let's go ahead and start off. They're jumping everywhere, people are slaying them. Welcome to Sin City Fishing. Hunting. First fish of the day. We are going to be keeping a couple. They are stopped in here. So you can keep them. It's lures. Yeah. It's kind of small, huh? Oh, yeah, this guy's going back. He's tiny. Do we got pliers? Uh. It's in his we got the hook. That's it. <laughs> we got the um the knife. And there, there goes go. the rod right into the water. Well, right when I pulled out of the water, another one was chasing there. A pretty big one. Ooh, ah. They're small. They can't hit this. Tiny castmaster. Tiny little castmaster. Got a pretty big swivel on it, but tiny castmaster. It's just doing good right now. They're jumping everywhere. Yeah. Oh, got him. Tiny dude again. Might need to throw something bigger on. Oh, look at that huge one. Look at it. Throw it, Dad. Look at how big that is. Throw it. Look oh, that was a big one following him, huh? Yes. I'm telling you, I'll tell you to throw your lure because that was a one pound trout chasing this dude. All right, let's get him back in. All right, I need to get back out. That was a big trout. Did you get him on camera? That's a good one. Got another one. This one's a keeper. This guy's gonna go back. He's kind of small. Yeah, he's tiny. Yeah, real small. Showed up, they went right to you guys. Like, oh, what are you guys got going on over there? Secret set over there? <laughs> Put it in the water, they went right that way. Oh, that one. You get all spooked out. Back up. Got one. It's kind of small. Nice little dude. Kind of small. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go too. I'm gonna try to get bigger. Look, at, get him something off. We've been out here for about 30 minutes. We got three keepers. We let go a bunch already, so we're trying to get a couple more. But it's getting kind of dark, so we're gonna leave soon. They're still hitting the cast master though, so they're jumping still. Still having a great time. What are you using? Good old Pistol Pete's Fly. Run about a six foot liter. Go ahead and get yourself a sinker bobber. And tie yourself a swivel. And there you go. Toss it out. Start catching trap. Every cast. 
Kinda, huh? <laughs> Just a slow retrieve? Yeah, slow retrieve so the ball don't spook the fish. And lets the fly drop a little deeper. There you go, Arch! Fly straight! been two minutes since you caught one. <laughs> it's starting to get dark. Bring it right towards me. I'm going to see if I can get the chasers. Every cast there's chasers. Look at the colors. Yeah. It's a keeper. This one's one of the better ones we've caught. having a good time or I want to wait for my limit I have one out with bait because it's kind of getting dark it glows so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get that last fish and I'm gonna show you guys how to cook them up yep fish on got him It's a nice one. It's one of the bigger ones. We're gonna keep him. That's our limit now. So we're gonna go ahead and go home, show you guys how to cook him up. I'm gonna fillet him and fry fry him. Yeah, look at that. So we got our limit. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. They stocked them a little bit bigger this year. Last year I don't remember them being this big. They're pretty nice size. Here's a trout I just caught. I'm gonna fry them up real quick. I'm gonna flay them out. Gonna leave the skin on them though. Skin has a lot of flavor in these trout. So I'm not really gonna get into detail with how to do this. I have a video on it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale them and gut them and cut them in half like one fillet. Trout have real small scales, so you don't have to make sure you get all of them. You just want to do a quick little scale so it don't take too long. As you guys can see on my knife. See how small those scales are? They're all clumped up. Tiny. Really quick, I'm just going to show you guys how to gut them real quick and easy. You come in from their butt and take it all the way up to about right there. So then what you're going to do is see those little grooves? Gonna cut in one side and come out the other and cut through that. And then it opens, right? So you're gonna stick your finger in there 
and then grab his jaw and it should just all come out like that I like to put my thumb in there and just give it one good pull and there's all the guts gutted them in 10 seconds that's a bloodline just gotta remove that real quick it's easy you can just do it with your thumb push your thumb into it and scrape and there you go it's all clean quick, quick rinse and he's ready for the next step so trout is our favorite fish and we realize that they taste a lot better keeping their skin so all we're gonna do is just like any other fillet come back right behind here and then you're gonna angle your knife and fall follow the spine doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna fry these guys head and all everything on these dudes tastes good so this is all you gotta do and he's ready to fry it just helps him fry through better everything is filleted in half it's all ready to be cooked as you guys can see we left the head and everything on it and then just the other sides of the fish all I'm going to use is some flour, garlic salt and chicken powder so all I'm doing is taking the pieces and rubbing them around in the mix and then throwing them in the pan you want to get quite a bit on them and then you just want to drop them in the pan carefully not to splash yourself I didn't put a whole lot of flour on these guys and I didn't throw eggs in there so they're not going to be super brown but you guys don't have to fry and trout long at all it's only been maybe three minutes and just as long as they're starting to flake apart they look good already right as everything's coming out of the pan just squeeze some fresh lemon on it makes it taste delicious so it's all done right now. I got some tater tots on the side. I mean, if you guys aren't going out and catching your own fish and frying them up, you're missing out. People say they don't like fish, but if they tasted this, it changed their mind. The recipe is so simple, and yeah, it tastes so delicious. So this stuff's great. My brother's already tearing up some pieces. It's just so good. Um, turned out delicious. So once again, I have a Facebook and an Instagram. Go check those out. I have a trophy board on my Facebook page. I check out all the pictures. I'd like to see some of you guys' pictures on there. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.